Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add, uh, open our project, and we're going to add a jump animation and a drop animation and look at adding uh, an object of a bridge and an object of uh, a ladder. So let's see what we can do. And uh, we'll start by uh, going to the online uh, app. Now, again, if you were able to install this on your uh, computer at home, terrific. Um, use a G develop. Uh, there's more things you can do. Uh, but if you're just doing the online version, um, or if you're doing home, let's uh, take a look at how we'll get started. So first thing we're going to do is we'll go and click here where it says open a project. And I uh, saved it on the Google Drive. So I'm going to go to Google Drive and I'm uh, going to go through my Google Drive and you'll see I've organized folders. And inside here, I... Um, saved my game. I hope, uh, I don't remember saving number two, so I'm going to select just number one here. Great. So this is where I uh, ended up last time. So uh, just to go through some different things, um, one of the different things I want to do is I'm going to select my player and I'm going to edit the object. And one of the things I want to do is I want to add another animation for when he's uh, jumping and uh, sorry, when he's um, uh, jumping, because let's actually, before I do this, let me hit play here. And you'll notice if I'm running around on my game, uh, what's going to happen is he's going to keep running. Um, so we have him, so he stopped. But if I uh, jump, he keeps running when I jump. And what I want him to do is when I jump, you don't see the legs moving because he's not uh, running anymore. Uh, the other thing I want to do is if I um, am running off a, a little bridge here, I want to just um, have him stop moving. He doesn't need to be kicking his legs while he's uh, in the air. So let's go back to our game and I'll show you what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to click on player. I'm going to edit the player object. and. You'll see here, we've got our different um, animations. I've got the animation for player stop and I've got animation for player uh, moving. Um, and I'm gonna click here to add an animation and I'm gonna call this will be uh, animation uh, number two. I'll call this uh, player um, uh, jumping. And I'm just going to click here and I'm going to select a, uh, oh, they have one for jump. Perfect. So there's player one jumping. Now, again, if you had uh, downloaded the app, you could ed edit with uh, Piscal, um, but we don't have that. Okay. So let's go to uh, add another animation. This will be um, animation for when I drop. So I'll call this uh, player um, dropping. And I can just, again, click add, and I'll do the same uh, single movement for dropping. Okay, so I'm gonna go apply here, and how are we gonna add this to the player? Well, we're gonna go uh, back to our object player, and we're gonna edit the object. And what I wanna do is I wanna modify, um, oops, sorry. Uh, sorry, I want to go to the game events and I want to modify in the game events uh, what's happening if the player is um, uh, dropping. So I'm going to click here. Oops. Boy, I'm really making mistakes here. Uh, so I've got these game events here. So I'm going to click here to add a new event. And this event here is going to be, uh, is jumping. And you'll see built in, uh, there is an action for is jumping, an event for is jumping, which is kind of nice. So I'm gonna choose player. If the player is jumping, um, what am I gonna do? Let me click the okay button. So the event is uh, player is jumping and then the action I'm gonna add an action I want to uh, take the sprite and I want to change the animation 
of the player object, and I'm going to set it to the value of 2 uh, for player jumping. Great. I'm going to press OK for that. And now I'm going to add one more event. So here we go. Add another event. And this is going to be um, uh, is uh, uh, dropping. It's falling. There we go. And so again, I'm going to choose player and press OK. And then add the action. So if the player is falling, I want to go sprite. I want to go animation and change to the player. I'm going to set it to number three, which I had for dropping. Now, a little bit redundant because really uh, I don't have any extra sprites. But if I was uh, able to edit the sprite, and that's coming soon. Um, I would uh, have a different sprite for falling. Okay, so now I've done that. One of the next things I want to do is talk about making a, a new type of uh, um, object in my game. So I've got the player and I've got the ground. Um, and so the ground is fine here. But what I want to do is I want to make a, a ladder. Um, so I can climb up to maybe a higher one. And I also might want to make a little bridge that he can go uh, into. So let's, uh, let's create some new objects. So maybe I'll do the bridge first. So I'll call it a uh, tiled sprite. And I'll call this a bridge. And the, the thing about a bridge is you can jump through the bridge. And so um, I'm going to choose from the library. I don't have any options to draw. And I'm going to do the bridge logs or the bridge, whichever one you want. And I'm going to apply. There you go. So here we go. And I've got a bridge. And so what I can do with the bridge is I can make the bridge. Um, so I could put a little bridge here and I could make a bridge across uh, at the top here. So let's drag the bridge on here. So I haven't done anything just yet. And um, here's my bridge. And what I can do, I'm going to turn the grid off for a second um, because this bridge is not quite a 32 by 32, which I said it was. So I'm just going to stretch the bridge and you'll see it's going to tile uh, everywhere I do it. So I'm going to put a bridge all the way across to, let's say, right here. Okay, so here's my bridge. And what we can do with the bridge, um, I'm going to add some ground here. And I'll stretch it up. So I don't go overboard here. And in fact, what I could do, I could put the ground right on the edge here. And watch what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the ground uh, all along the edge. And what uh, I can do here uh, with this particular one is I can make it um, uh, this, uh, I could make it invisible. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but I can make it invisible. So right now, I just want a barrier so, so it doesn't accidentally go over. Okay, so what we're going to do with the bridge is we're going to make it so we can jump uh, through the bridge, and then we can walk across. So let's uh, edit the object and edit the behaviors. Uh, and I want to add a behavior to the bridge. And I'm going to say it's a platform. So great, it's a platform but it's not just a standard platform. And so I can uh, select here, it's called a jump through platform. And that allows us to jump through it um, without, and then stay on top. And so I'm gonna press apply. And so it's now uh, gonna take the uh, values of being a platform. And so let's pl press play and just see how it works. So now here I've got a bridge, it's gonna go all the way across. 
and I can move my person left. I can move them right. I can jump up uh, here and you'll see I can uh, go through it. And then once I land on top, of course, I'm on top. So there you go. Now, another thing I'm going to do for this is suppose this was my bridge. Uh, I'm going to make a ladder so I can uh, climb a ladder up. And so the ladder is another uh, object that we can build. So I'm going to build another object here. Call it a, uh, I'll make it a tiled sprite. And I'm going to call it a ladder. Uh, select the image uh, in the library that's a ladder. I saw a ladder right here. And I'm going to press apply. And now I'm going to drag the ladder uh, right here. And oops, it's obviously not a good size. So I need to uh, make it even taller. Well, I guess not. I could make it like so. Um, and then I can put some ground up here. Let me uh, drag some ground. Maybe just right here, and I'll make the ground uh, carry on off the screen. Okay, so how do we program the ladder? Well, let's go uh, to the object. Again, I want to change the behaviors. So I want to add a behavior to the object. I want to say that this object is a platform object, and its type is going to be a ladder. Okay, I'm going to press apply and now when i press play you'll see that we have our game coming along with a the ability to jump through um, this object here which is uh, this and we also have a ladder that we can oh i gotta make the ladder taller ah sorry i um I goofed. Uh, so let's try this. Um, I made the ladder. Um, didn't uh, didn't go over there. So here we go. Here's my ladder, and then I can climb the ladder. I can go over, I can climb down. Um, oh, I guess I got to make the ladder taller. Uh, if I made the ladder taller, I can climb down the ladder, I can climb up the ladder. And I can, of course, uh, there we go. I could have enemies that I could uh, run away from and so forth. Okay, so we're getting there with this game. Um, what other things? Oh, you'll notice he's behind the ladder, uh, which is fine. Uh, that, that works just fine for this game here. Um, but sometimes you might want to put objects in front or behind, and I haven't really talked about that. So um, if I wanted an object um, that is in front of this guy, it's something called the Z uh, uh, level. And so right now, if I click it, the Z order is one. And so the bigger the Z order, the closer it is to me. So if I am uh, at one, that is as low as you can go, or zero, I guess, uh, that means you're in the back or the background. Uh, and in fact, you can even go negative. And so typically, if we're gonna add a background to the game, we would do that uh, with a uh, negative value for Z. Great, so in here, what we've done, we've added a jump animation, a drop animation. We've added a, another type of uh, uh, level, uh, which is the ladder, uh, and another type, which is the bridge, uh, which you can jump through, and those actions are on there, and um, our game is coming along, super.